perfect day. Getting ready to light the wood-fired oven. Check it out. It's baby sweet. Uh, you can build one. And uh, it's not that hard. I'll be right back and we'll light it up. Okay, this oven's ready to go. Inside, we've got a lot of wood and paper. And basically you just remove the door. Fire up the torch. And that's it. 30 minutes, this oven should be 900 degrees. Sometimes we use a bellow, get some air movement around in there. It makes the fire jump right up. Hello, I'm preparing two large chickens today. I'm going to do herb roasted chicken. These are about three and a half pounders. They're big ones. Uh, one of the things I like to do when I'm cooking chicken is flip my cutting board over. This is for regular prep, daily cooking surface and raw meat on the other side. So all you do is pick that baby up, give it a flip over and use the other side for meats. Okay, uh, very quickly, uh, it's a good idea to Tap down the chicken and get as much of the moisture off as you can. Okay, so today I'm going to be splitting this chicken with a cleaver and there's a few ways to do it, but the first thing is you want to open it up and get in there. Uh, some parts you don't eat, like this fat, can be removed. Just take your cleaver and split it right down the breastbone like this. Okay, cut right through and you can see what you're doing. And then in the middle you want to remove the backbone. Of course this gets saved and reserved for chicken stock. Uh, I take the backbones and put them in the freezer. When I want to make chicken soup, I've always got them ready to go. The cleaver, you might notice, cuts right through here pretty easily. Not too much effort. There's my two half chickens. There's my backbone goes right into the bag along with these pieces here ready for the freezer once again right down the breast open it up There you go. Okay, this larger chicken is going to get cut up. I'm going to make a, a quick herb chicken, like more like a coca bean. Making this one in a Dutch oven. Uh, this is such a large breast. I prefer to take the breast and leave a piece of it on the wing. Okay, there you go. Eight cut chicken. The wings, the legs, the breasts, and the thighs. Ready to go. Okay, so for this recipe, we're going to combine a few ingredients here in a mixing bowl. We're going to brown the chicken first. And then we're going to slow cook it in the Dutch oven. Okay, for the poke oven, we're going to be adding a little bit of flour tossing the chicken around with a little flour. Okay, we're going to be 
adding all this chicken to this Dutch oven, and then as well as some herbs, some seasonings, and then we're gonna be slow cooking this Dutch oven today. Putting this whole baby in the wood-fired oven. Okay, so we're just starting it on the stove. Like this. A few pieces at a time. When the chicken starts to get brown like this, we're going to remove and repeat it. We're going to add some onions as well as some fresh garlic to the chicken dishes. By the way, I'm still saving my uh, my peels for stock. Okay. The garlic and the onion make great stock. So you take your stock bag and put these scraps in there, preserving them for later. For this type of dish, a uh, rough cut will do. Kind of a large dice is fine. garlic sample. Oh, the herbs okay. I'm using today are fresh basil. I have this wonderful flowering basil here, as well as herbs de province. Herbs de province. You can order this at the sponsor. Your sponsor, by the way, is chefdepot.com. Okay, we take this uh, basil and just chop it up. I don't use a cleaver that often, so I'm actually not that fast with a cleaver. Just kind of put along here. Okay. Okay, once the chicken's all brown, combine all the chicken back in the pot. Oh yeah, looking good. We're going to put a couple of these onions, some of this garlic, a little of the basil, some of the herbs. Bailey. Of course, uh, the white wine. A good amount. And then when you think it's enough, a little bit more. Okay? The cover on this, and this is heading off to the wood-fired oven. I'll be back. Okay, here's the wood-fired oven after about 30 minutes or so. Going to add another log like this. And I'm going to push everything in the back, and then we're going to start cooking. Push it in the back with this long brush here. Lots and lots of hot coals there. The Dutch oven with the chicken. It's going to go in here. put the door on and I'll be back to check it in about 45 minutes yeah the finished Dutch oven herb chicken looks pretty good check the largest piece with a the thermometer right there oh yeah it's good it's at least 180 okay so we're good thanks for watching support your sponsor oh yeah looks really good